Hey guys, <laughs> I've done it again. I've bought something that I know absolutely nothing about. But I love a good diesel, and especially the Japanese ones. My favorite car was a Toyota with the 2.5 liter diesel. It was a high ace, the best car in the world. So I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've just been sick and therefore having a lot of time on my hands so I did the absolute worst thing you can do and that's to go on auction sites so okay it's uh, ice falling on the roof we have a thaw going on here so no much no more snow so yeah I bought this thing for way too much money for my budget but it's the first time I actually seen one of those ever and the first time I've had a chance to own one, I bought it, but I'm not keeping it because, yeah, let's have a look. It's a Yanma, a water pump. What does it say? YDP20N. Yeah, air cooled diesel. It's got a, what is it? What is it called? L48, I think. Yeah. That's a L48 N6 slash PY diesel engine. 219 cc's. So, yeah. It's a fresh water pump, I guess you call it. And it was, uh, it was a rental before I bought it. And, uh, when you think about, uh, when I think about a rental machine, I am thinking that stuff is getting really beaded on. But this actually looks very, very nice. Let me get some light on here. It doesn't appear very rusty or anything. It has the, the capacity to pump 550 liters per minute. So that's, of course, way, way too much for my application. I only need one of those. I have a small well down in the basement that gets filled with water sometimes. So, yeah. Well, it was at an auction for a reason. Well, I guess the rental company didn't need it anymore. And it says that it does not start. Now, I'm no mechanic, and I say that very often, but that's true. So, uh, we'll see what we can make of this. I do know from watching countless other channels on YouTube that you, you can't really go wrong with a diesel unless it uh, has gone very wrong, uh, some catastrophic failure inside or something. But if you have compression and fuel, you have a runner, basically. And I've been pulling the handle sometimes, and it does have compression so much that you cannot turn it over. Uh, and the fuel filter. I think everything looks uh, almost brand new. So I don't really know what the deal is. The guy at the auction site says that he doesn't think that it's... Uh, well, look in here. It looks totally brand new. And the filter also. Yeah, the guy at the auction site where I picked it up, he says that he thinks that it is just because it's it is a diesel. So when when you pull the cord, it uh, and you and you hit compression and you hit compression, you can uh, it, it can almost break your hand pulling back. So. But it does have a decompression lever, and that also seems to be working. I have been pulling the string sometimes, and yeah, not to great extent, but yeah. The pump side of things, well, it has been running because it is a bit dirty. Got a flapper in there, and that's nice. But it, it's missing the, the fittings, so... Maybe if we get it running, we'll splurge some more money. So 
we can actually well this is going up for sale if it's any good and then it would be better to sell a complete pump with hoses well it has it has seen some runtime but it's not too bad it looks great so the only things i really noticed is that i don't know why there's a gasket hanging here and the lid for the tank is not the correct one it's too small we have a half tank of diesel so that's great and then there's this screw down here again most of my knowledge is from watching other youtube youtube channels and this has something to do with the the governor and the stop and stuff so just to begin with i think we will leave that well enough alone and focus on what is the deal here look at the muffler <laughs> do we have any do we have any soot <laughs> not too bad a bit of rust up there but all in all it looks pretty damn nice so as i said i have tried to pull it and it won't start so fuel filter looks totally brand new so and i know we have compression so should we just bite the bullet and see if it's because we doesn't get any fuel yeah we do that <laughs> so i finally went down and bought a a fuel line plier a set of fuel line pliers so maybe i don't spill fuel everywhere and this is the first time i use it so i hope it works i hope i work yeah let's try it there so there's two hose clamps i don't know why there's two let's get those off and see what will come out of it i'm gonna get a cup ready here because yeah you know how this is going to end right we're gonna have diesel everywhere because me being me so first step do we have fuel to the pump because as i said there's a half a tank of diesel yeah we do have there is diesel there and it is coming out of the hose so i didn't clamp it hard enough maybe it just isn't up for the job maybe i can break the pliers Hmm. Same story with me every time, right? So, what can I do instead? Can I do something? Put it over there to start with, but... Yeah, since there is fuel coming out, we are getting fuel to the pump. So should I? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put the two clamps on again. Or maybe just the one. Just need to. There. this did absolutely nothing so that's just perfect maybe it's too small for that hose ah this is also super super stiff hard as a rock so <clears throat> sorry for coughing and sniffing again i'm still a little bit sick so we got fuel here will it shoot fuel out 
I believe it is a 17. That was a 14. 17. Yeah. Holy moly. So, what do we have going on here? Nothing? I thought so. Well, there is some few poking through right there. So, few is present down there. I'll get you in a better position so you can see. There. So I'm gonna let's put this into the run position because I do believe this controls the pump on a diesel. Decompression. I think I'm gonna hold it because I really do not want it to start. <laughs> yeah, nothing is coming out of the pump. So that might be a small problem because I do believe a diesel engine needs diesel to run. So she would take off the pump. You know what? I actually think someone has been here before. Because can you see the edges of this knot is rounded off? And also up here. So that's look very promising. Now again, other videos on YouTube shows me that this here is a small it's a it's a cover for an expansion inspection window. So and there's uh, some uh, lever or something going up to the pump inside the engine and you can see the end of it here so maybe we should start by taking that off to see what we can see that should be a 10 yep and it is very tight whoa Well, neat. Where did that go? Here. So, does this come off now? Yes. There's a gasket on the on the other side. And that is also covered in diesel. So, we have diesel down there. Maybe, uh, so what can we see in here? Well, things are moving. Well, something is moving. Yeah, well. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take off the, the fuel line again. So, where do I put the diesel? Can I... Yeah, let me figure something out. So, I've clamped the fuel line up here with both the line clamps and a universal tool there. Hammer, crowbar, vice grip, yeah. So, I'm going to take off the pump now and see if I can screw that up. Should I take, you know, I think I'm going to take a socket, just because, can I get in there with this one? It seems like it. It's that tight.
Well, now, now they're loose. So maybe I should be careful because <laughs> there's probably a spring or something flying out when I let go of things. But we'll see. If you can hold your hands like this under here, so there's a chance we can catch everything. I think I remember something about that before you before you take it off, it's a good idea to loosen this one, which is also a 17. Well, everything is so damn tight. So, now that is also loose. So, let's see what happens. Well, I cannot break it, I guess, because it doesn't doesn't work to begin with. Okay, it's pushing itself away from the block. No. So, what do we have here? There's a gasket down here. Well, uh-oh, what is that? Oh, no. We've got broken stuff. This is bad. Uh, well, that wasn't what I expected. So that piece must be lying down in the crank somewhere. I also see a spring down there. I don't know if you can see it there. Is that supposed to be there? <laughs> so this... This must be the governor moving in there. Does this cup come out? Yes, it does. How does that look? Oh. Well, I guess it looks okay. And the cam in there. Yeah. It's also looking fine, but what is... Yeah, we got something missing here, and that is not good. Uh, maybe that spring, eh, that spring down there. It is supposed to be there. So. <sighs> this here is the pump itself. And... I, <laughs> yeah, of course it's not working. Because as I see it, we got something broken here. There's a tab or something missing. And as I as I see it, it's uh, it's stuck in the in the in the stop position. So. Well, the pump seems to be doing the pump things. This is moving, but... <laughs> so, is this a replaceable part? Oh. 
and we got some gunk in here. Yeah, things need things needs cleaning. Which way did this go? This way. Yeah. And this thing. Can this come out? What is it? Hmm. Yeah. I think things need needs cleaning and Is um, can I get this apart or what? I would guess. Well, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I can think I'm gonna end here for now and. Uh, just take some uh, moments to to go on to my trusty website, LS Engineers, because they got stuff like this, I'm pretty sure, and see what, uh, is this a replaceable part or what? I guess you can take this off somehow. But yeah, before I'm ruining anything, Get this pin out, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's it's held together somehow, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna go on the on the interwebs and see how uh, how you deal with one of these guys. So, yeah. Catch you later. While I wait for another slow boat from China, just like when I ordered the carp kit for the garden tractor, I, th I figured I wanted to do something else, starting by draining the oil. And I, I've done some research online and found out that this should actually be an oil filter. Because I really want to know if if that thing that's broken off the pump, if it's lying down there. So I'm going to drain the oil and figure it out. Bring you along for that. So I've got a pan underneath on the floor. So let's see if we can make a giant mess just like we used to. Actually, the oil looks uh, looks fine. Just hope that this pan is big enough. So yeah, I'm gonna let that do its thing and bring it back in a while. I don't know if the end of this is magnetic. It's not. Well, looks pretty clean. So, yeah, I'm gonna let that drain until it's done. And then I'm gonna take off the filter and have a look at that. So I'm done draining the oil and it really doesn't look too bad. There's a bit of stripes here and here, but nothing that really screams at me that the engine is totally 
clapped out inside and no big chunks chunks came out either so I don't know if that's good or bad because there's a chunk missing that's for sure so where has it gone I'm gonna take off, take off, take out. I'm gonna take out the other filter and see if we find any smoking gun there. If anything. I should make a little note for myself here on the post start saying that it needs oil so I don't started up without any oil so does this unscrew or does it just come out or is there a certain spot where it needs to be I don't know. There we go. So let's see here. Well, this is just the screen. Or yeah. It is mostly just a screen. Well, now I'm making a mess anyway, so great. The screen is really not dirty. At least I don't think so. I cannot see anything in there that didn't reveal a whole lot. Oh, we got some sludge here. But not that big big chunk I was hoping to find. I mean it must it must be in there, right? Well we haven't found it in yet. So let's just put this oil filter back in because yeah, now I can see through it. So, this is just fine. Like that. Well, can we see anything in here? Nah. What about on the other side? There's also a fill over here. No, I cannot see anything. It looks really clean in there.
I wonder if it's uh, magnetic, the, the part that is missing. Because then I could get myself a magnet. Problem is, I suspect this to be L. I don't know. I feel a little bit with this is just a bit holder, <laughs> not really a magnet, but I feel a little bit. So maybe it is steel or some sort of metal. Mm. So I went out and bought myself a magnet. So I could poke around to find that missing piece from the pump. And I've been looking through here and poking through here. Took out both of the oil drains and the oil fills on both sides. And I've been poking and poking and poking around and looking and turning and I cannot find it. I really cannot find it. And upon closer inspection, I don't know if I can get my camera in here and hold it still in there, right there. That gear there is on the crankshaft. And the plastic gear, I guess, is the oil pump. And I've turned over the engine, looking at that gear to see if it was chewed up. And it is not chewed up. And the crank itself is, 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 is actually is all the way up here, turning up here. So we got all this room underneath. As uh, clearance for rotating parts, as far as as far as I can see inside. So if it's in there, it must be lying down in the bottom, and I don't think it will do any harm, and it will come out with an oil change at some point. And maybe it did come out because the oil looked pretty clean. So maybe maybe it got out at an oil change and. Yeah, the story was that it, it they could not get it running, and I can see why. But maybe they changed the oil and did some maintenance to see if that would do it. And then it came out that way with an oil change. Well, I don't know. I cannot see it anywhere, and I cannot hear anything. It's not making any sound, any funny noises. So I really don't know. I think I'm going to put in the, the oil drains again and fill in some fresh oil because then I don't forget it because I don't know how, how long it takes for the pump to come. It's already two weeks since I've ordered it, ordered it. So maybe there's two more weeks going before I get it. So yeah. So I'm just going to put in everything that I took out and some fresh oil and then it's a waiting game again. Well, at least now I can sleep at night knowing that I've looked for that missing part and I did find it. So I've just finished filling fresh oil in this Yanmar and in that process I was, you know, just minding my own business and had a hand free and wanted to keep it busy so I just did like this and then I found out that the exhaust is loose 
why I mean it is r really loose the two main bolts are only finger tight and under here that one you can also turn by hand hmm what in the world is going on here well let me tighten those up also <sighs> well guys and girls I think there are some girls watching we're gonna have to end this video here because we can't get any further without a new injection pump but I already ordered it and it's from eBay so a Chinese slow boat has to sail around the globe um, so yeah stay tuned I will be picking up on this project when I get a new pump thank you for watching please uh, hit the bells and whistles and all those things down under so you get notified when I upload a new video on this very nice Yanma freshwater drainage pump or yeah you get the idea stay tuned see you later